I want to share with you three things that have been bringing me a lot of joy recently and hopefully they can bring you some joy as well. The first thing is walking and specifically walking. I don't like cardio. Once upon a time, I could run a good five kilometers and occasionally extend that to 10, 15 kilometers. Here's a cringy pic of me back in 2019 after a run. Anyway, I stopped running a couple of years back because I stuffed up my knee and pretty much stopped running and exercise in general other than working out. And as you can imagine, it's much harder to get into shape than it is staying in shape. But you know, one day we'll get back and better than we were before. Anyway, walking is something that has turned into a daily thing for me. And it's something that I look forward to pretty much at the start of all my days. I think it has something to do with the combination of sunlight, being in nature and I think for some reason I've really been enjoying just looking at houses and the different types of houses there are I don't know maybe it's just me but walking has just been bringing me a lot of happiness recently number two is audiobooks I was never too much of a fan of reading like even now I'm not too much of a fan of reading I loved movies and I still love movies but recently in the past couple of years I've been trying my best to listen to audiobooks and I think I've got the hang of it now I think it I think I've turned it into a habit I found myself clinging to books like Michelle Obama's Becoming and Trevor Noah's Born a Crime. These were really memorable listens. And currently at the moment, I'm kind of exploring my passion and my excitement for fantasy and fiction again. I've been finding my excitement for fiction and fantasy again, listening to Brian Sanderson's Miss Bourne series and the Stormlight Archive. They've been really difficult to put down or rather stop listening to. Shout out to Ali Abdal for those recommendations. They're like, Mm, they're like really good books. By the way, these audiobooks very often accompany me on my walks. And the last thing that I want to share with you that's been bringing me a lot of happiness and joy recently is cleaning. Believe it or not, cleaning or rather the outcome of the cleaning has just been almost a really wondrous and um, like fulfilling experience, if I can put it that way. Having a clean bedroom and a clean office is just incredible. I suppose my mum wished like my excitement and my passion for cleaning extended to places other than the places that I occupy the most in house, but maybe we'll get there one day. For now, it's just limited to areas that I spend the most time in. But on this, I think how I feel internally has a big reflection on how my environment is externally. If my room or study is a mess, then it clouds my ability to think clearly and stay productive. There was a study that was done at Princeton University and they found that our brains actually appreciate and like order. And when our work environments are clean and neat, our brain can focus better and we can be more productive. I suppose on this, productivity is something that I really value. There's been so many days when I thought I was productive, but I was switching between tasks. I thought I was doing a lot of things, but in reality, by the time the sun set and the workday kind of ended, I kind of looked back and reflected and I realized I didn't actually get as much done as I would have liked to. Have you ever had that experience before? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, I just wanted to share these things with you and hopefully they've encouraged you to think and reflect and think about things that you do or you could do to bring more joy and more happiness in your life. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'd love that. All the love and all the power. I will see you in the next video. Bye.